A resistance is only as good as the people in it. We're happy to have you. Damn right. Man's ready to tear it up. Good to hear. In breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSE app. SIRS Counter-Terror Director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. Got a better fashion game now. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation.
Anyone have visual? Located the CTOS hub. <coughs> Terminating the search. Control. Put out an APW. All units, I say again, all units, we have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Received. Let's keep this by the book. Over. Sign of the target. Over. Right. I'm putting a stop to this. Units fall back. Over. Some interesting documents in the network logs. Seems this building was recently acquired by a shell company called Grantha Inc. And why do you think that's interesting? Grantha Inc. is listed by Nout under the heading Fucking hanging bad call that I'm not chuffed about, innit? I'm paraphrasing. Slightly. Snap a photograph of the building so we have something to show Nout. Suspects reported near your location. <coughs> Received, we are trailing the target. Targets are in view. 
Negative. No sign of suspect. Over. Control. Let's put out an APW. We're getting nowhere here. Snap! Let's upload this shit to our channel. Consider it done. Dead sec. Any updates on the empty houses? So you're investigating Grand for Inc. Yeah, that's right. From what I've found, Grant is owned by Samuel Toussaint, upper-class twat of the Caribbean. The Haitian kleptocrat? What's he up to? Besides living high off the misery of his people. Looting the national treasury for one. Problem is, nothing I've found directly links Toussaint to Granta. So, I don't know, keep an eye out for suspiciously unoccupied buildings. You might find a lead that way. Hey, cheers, bruv. Yeah. Mmm, deep breaths. Get that oxygen. Shit, we got more protesters. Let's see what's up. Talk to me. Yet another shell company. Blimey, this is like looking through a mermaid's lingerie drawer. Cheers, bruv. This is getting stupid. 
Targets are in view. Got it. Yo, there's another protest at that empty building. Should we look into it? We need some connection to that twat too, saying. This place isn't owned by Grantha, but rather a different, equally vague and sinister shell corporation in the British Virgin Islands. Safe, bruv. Targets are in view. Got 
it. I'm uploading the photo to our channel as well, so that Two Saint may see it. Yo, if he sees the pig, he might come out. And then we can show up this asshole. Bruv, you're a clever one. Actually, I just thought he might appreciate your composition. But you're right. Good plan. That place has protesters out front too. Worth checking out. It could be another one of two saints. I've retrieved another deed, and it belongs to another shell company. <coughs> Targets are in view. I have an update. I was able to find a similarity between all the shell companies that own the properties we've been photographing. Come on, bag. It's out with it. They all list Samuel Toussaint as majority shareholder. Oh shit, that's it! We've got him now! Alright, Deadsec. I just read through your upload. It was mint, really. 
I have some goods for you lot as well. I'm listening. Two Saints got his eye on the Presidency, so he's looking to up his global presence. He's coming to Buckingham Palace to meet with the Crown. If we can warn the Royals not to meet with this twat, it'll be a big win for Dead Second 404. Good thing we've got more than enough evidence to prove Toussaint isn't fit to whiff royal farts. As you might imagine, the Royal Palace is about as secure as, well, a Royal Palace. But the network at Buckingham Palace Muse is marginally weaker. Try that. If we can hack the CTOS of Buckingham Palace Muse, I should be able to peep inside the stateroom where the meeting is to take place. Toussaint will have submitted his credentials in advance of the meeting. I can attach our evidence to the end of that file, and then we can watch him march confidently in and essentially announce himself a gigantic fuckhead. Not the most efficient approach, but definitely the funniest. Yeah, got it. Initiate side focus on They're funny. Find out who they are. I'm sure they're still in the area. Clear. Gonna check our next area. They gotta be somewhere. What? No, no, no. Lock it down. There's an intruder! Sniff them out! Oh, oh cross off! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> 
upload complete. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Too saint for the 10 foot engraved ceremonial pole being held by somebody else. I made sure to leave a little explanatory note with Dead Sex logo so everyone knows who to thank. Nice bro! I was good, yo! I listen, Too Saint is finished. We got him. <laughs> Dead good. That's an international win on our hands. I'm sending all our evidence to a mate in Sirs. He's one of the good ones. We did it, team! Bless! This is a message for Dead Sex. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him. Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the Dead Sec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. What are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building and You get the idea. You're fucked. A hey, man can't walk down the street no more. Let's just do him in already. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show Dead Sex odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. As it happens, we have an idea about that. Bagley, your show. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, material and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your mission's list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Minister of Foreign Affairs Samuel Toussaint was arrested in front of his hotel in London today. Documents linking Toussaint to the embezzlement of millions of pounds in earthquake relief funds were made public by the hacker group DedSec. Toussaint is now in custody awaiting extradition to the United States. I'm here. What's the plan? 
We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what do we do then? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Sirs uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Safe, bruv. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. Done. In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry, channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day. Nah, man, we fight people like you. We sure as fuck don't want to work for you. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I love. What about you? Um, not blowing up Canadians? Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. I suppose it's on me to clean up their mess then.
In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Malik deployed the microwave drones. Sorry, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Suggestions? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Suggestions? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're unplugging it and then plugging it back in again? Close enough.
something about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hit. Stupid drone, this isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Could you shoot this drone down? I'd ask it politely to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik. Parents to what Richard? That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bomb were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I try to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Do you mind killing her? You clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report, but two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Please stop this microwave drone. 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 Exciting! Did you know that the head of security at Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Please stop this microwave drone. It seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side-ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. 
That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Well done, Bagley. Now let's get this scheming little bastard. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. Ah. Hmm. Something fishy is going on here. Such a dick! No more. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Avarice with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Dead Sex name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Only reason we can't just drive that car right into the Thames. Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits. is now taking an action. Albion mandated timeout. You're up. How dreadful. Not to worry, dears. I'm on my way. Fucking robot team. Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> 